Yes, what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be reacting to the openings from Fairy Tale. Yes, this is to celebrate 1,000 subscribers. I'm absolutely buzzing. Thank you ever so much to everybody that has subscribed to the channel and literally followed me on this journey so far. It's been just a little over four weeks and yeah, to get to a thousand already is absolutely fantastic. And I'm already sort of heading towards that next target of 2000. Make sure to hit the like button and of course hit the subscribe button. And just to let you know, I put a little community post out recently, just asking what you'd like to see more of on this channel. So you're basically gonna see openings and endings. And over on Patreon, exclusively on Patreon, you will get to see my watch along reactions because I'm currently reacting to Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, and Jujutsu Kaisen. So for a small fee per month, you can watch my full reactions and enjoy that journey with me as well. But without further ado, let's get into these openings. Oh, it's nice and subtle to start with. It's got that like samba rhythm to it. It's really cool. Wow, visually it looks so cool. So obviously with the opening one being called Snow Fairy, one would presume that is that sort of the, the main crux of it. I mean, you always talk about fairy tales and stuff. I love how the music is going from different tempos as well. And then it just goes to the 100 miles an hour part. Visually, it looks tremendous, by the way. Wow. And I can imagine with there being 26 openings, this is quite a long series. Oh, the la sort of the loud harmonic guitar in the mix as well. Oh, it's such a sweet opener. What a start that was. So Sense of Wonder is the next one. It's quite cool actually how they're naming like the tracks and stuff underneath so you can get an idea of what the opening could be about. Oh, the double time down. This is really, really cool. It kind of does look a bit like a fairy tale, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> no way. So colourful. Love this beat, by the way. Transitions are great as well between the images. So good. So I'm just judging by what I'm seeing so far. This isn't this isn't like a dark anime series, is it? It's it's got probably dark parts to it, but not not something that I would say looks dark, you know. Nice. Oh, again, that's such a solid opener. They're so solid so far. So yeah, so obviously, you know, when you dissect these openings, you're trying to sort of find out who's who and what is what. By the way, if I do look that way, sorry, that way, <laughs> I always check if I'm still recording, which I am. Uh, yeah, we've seen that young lady. We, we keep seeing that little, can't really describe what that little animal is. Is it a sort of a, yeah, it looks a bit like a pussycat. These are the best sort of set of openings that I could find together, rather than trawling through YouTube and trying to find each separate one. You're not copyrights like with YouTube. Oh yes. Proper power-ups here as well. 
That's what I've noticed so far with these openings. Oh, that's wicked. Okay. So it looks like they've taken a little bit more of a trip into a darker world here. <laughs> the pussycat's there. No place to take a pet. Nice. Music was really solid on that as well. Really, really solid. Just keeping this flowing. Oh, I just love it when it's 100 miles an hour. It's a rocking playing game, so... RPG, yeah. Love how this is just, again, fast paced. Have they just found a new, a new little world, a friendly world? Mm. Talk that up, didn't I? I used to stop these and really dissect everything down, but it just gets a bit long winded, doesn't it? Flow them through, that's what I say. Oh, what a wicked looking character. So as we're at opening four, one would presume that the same sort of characters are taking shape. Double time. Oh, great drum fill as well. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like me to learn some... Uh, drumming on these openings. This is a wicked opening, man. Oh, best music so far. Oh, it's gone quite dramatic. I love it. Do you know what? With some anime openings, they go really lo-fi in terms of the drum sound. And it's not so in your face, you know. I love the half time. So again, from what I'm seeing visually, we're seeing the same sort of well, same characters. And then what I love about openings in general is then you see, oh, oh trying to give the fish. Oh, my little pussycat friend is in love. Bit of necking on the go. You could say he's after some pussy. <laughs> what a shit joke. There seems to be some absolute ridiculous powers going on here, man. It's ridiculous. So one would presume that's our main character there, obviously, because the sort of opacity on the screen that we're seeing is this person. So, yeah, solid. God, these are solid. Visually. Oh. That's a cat shell, though. So I take it is is is, is the pussy cat a sidekick? Ah, oh, nice. Seems to be flying through different worlds. I mean, we're already on opening six already. It's flown by. Yeah, this is. Tell you what, right? This is so good. Nice. It seems like we're getting uh, an introduction of a, a, a lot of different characters coming through the series. But obviously we're seeing, you know, the mainstays, as we'd like to call them. I was tempted to do research on these programs before, you know, these series before I react to them, but... I kind of think I kind of feel if I did, then it would kind of ruin who I think is who. Ah, uh, saved. Ah, oh, yes, that was wicked. Another great opening. Evidence, Daisy X Daisy. 
tell you what, the music is solid. And I've been lucky to hear some solid music and some open. Sword Art Online had some solid music as well. Great drum beat. I'm a drummer, by the way, so obviously I'm going to always spot out the rhythm. Hey, little pussy cat, look. There he is. I wonder how he got on with his love. I was just thinking about that. Oh, the half time's wicked. I love it. Oh, there, there. How is he getting on with the love? Let me know in the comments section. Spoil it for me. How did the, how did the pussycat get on with his love? Nice. I love an effect like that. Even on my music reaction channel, I literally had so many requests to do this series and react to the openings, and I just kept putting it off because I saw how long they were. Yeah, again, that's solid. Proper solid opening. It looked a bit like the Pussycat was sad then. Okay. Some funkiness going on. There we go. So it always seems like we're traveling between different worlds. That's what I'm getting the vibes of. Remember, don't hate in the comment section. I'm just seeing what I'm, I'm just saying what I see. Visually, this series looks so, so good. I mean, it must have been popular because there was like, there's 26 openings, so yeah. Quite a few episodes. Let me know in the comment section how many episodes there were. Nice. God, look at that. That's when you mean business. <laughs> It's a nice little funky rhythm. I just love how the music has taken a twist, but also visually, it's it looks like it's upped it a little bit. There must be there must be a gap in time between these openings because I'm just seeing the visually, it's like up in it. You say ho. Oh. oh, that was wicked opening. I love that music. Uh oh, keep it flowing. Yeah, we've got a bit of EDM going on here. Do you know what, right? I I use this term a lot with anime openings or endings. Like the 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 music encapsulates the visuals on anime so well, and this does. You always uh, associate a fairy tale as a good story because, of course, when you would watch things when you're younger and you go, oh, that's a, little, that's a fairy tale story, like, that's a happy story, but this doesn't look like it's happy most of the time. Music's proper groovy again. Ooh. Seeing quite a few more characters on here. Also, fear not that if the demand's there on Patreon, I may start reacting to this as a watch along. Yeah. The pink hair chap, he's quite. He's obviously the main guy, isn't he? He's the main guy throughout it all. love the music on this so good I mean someone did comment saying do you just comment on the music but it's hard not to when you're a musician off to somewhere else yeah another world I think it's especially when you see oh, love those hi-hat barks by the way sorry I had to be quiet for that I reacted to the one piece openings and because there's so many you see so many different stories and so many different things going on 
time. Right now, Willy. I really like the music on this one. This, the music's really solid on this. And again, the moment we get to a chorus where it's dramatic, we just see so much fighting going on. And the power in this is ridiculous. Some of the power-ups. Oh, it's our pussycat with his love. I'll be saying that, yeah, he's looking for some love. And that's it's his brother or something. Yeah. The visuals are so good. Tell you what, some of the intros on the on this music are so good. Got like some sort of samba vibe again. I love it. Oh, for old fashioned armor there. I love it. Wow. Oh. Only these openings so far could go from a lovely mountain to just fire. Oh, shaking the old bum. But again, it was in time of the music. I loved it. Oh, a bit like Johnny Bravo. Yeah, it's solid again. It's just like... God, there must be some characters in this because we're current, currently seeing like such a different introduction of different characters. It's so good. I have to take my spectacles off. Sorry. Yeah, it's solid again. And then we just go to like a hundred miles an hour again. Uh, it's just wicked, isn't it? It's just so good. Like I said, story-wise, the, the way I'm seeing it is that the, the, the particular group that are together, you know, we've got obviously our pink-haired chappy, half-time, love that. And then we've obviously got the, the ladies that are with them as well. So are they kind of the mainstay characters throughout the series? Enemies-wise, if there are enemies, are there like, again different enemies throughout, you know, different sort of different openings, you know. Again, the reason why I picked this particular video, because it had all the openings together, so there's no confusion. Oh, God, he's an ugly looking chap, isn't he? Again, music solid, 100 miles an hour. Again, it looks like we're just dropping into a different world again. Where's the old pussycat? We haven't seen him for a while. Yeah, solid. Halfway point now. Halfway point of these openings, so yeah. Mm. Who thought, like, a, a rocky guitar riff and balloons would go so well together? Oh, I love that synth over the top. Such a, such a, such a solid beat again. Where's the, oh, he's there. Thank God for that. Or she, not sure. But the pussycat is there. I was a little bit worried because I didn't see it at the sort of end of the last opening. It's quite tame music, but I like it. So, is this kind of like a battle royale situation? People in the Coliseum wanting to see a battle. There obviously is some something that is going to be going on in this particular opening that tells me that, yeah, this it's kind of like a team battle or something. Similar to the uh, Raw and Sports Field at uh, My Hero Academia. Great episode. Sticks in my mind. <sighs> what 
love the music on that again. The synth was so cool. So we're going back to this EDM vibe now. So we're still we're still in the Are we in the Coliseum still or is that sort of like a past tense? Love that, by the way. The fire transition, yeah. Was it sort of like a team battle? I'm not sure. Well, battered and bruised by the looks of it. Okay, we're coming away from that now. Different world, perhaps. It always intrigues me how so many anime series just have so many episodes. It's mental. It is mental. Wow. It's like the pattern with these openings is like there's happy moments and then there's like epic moments. I haven't really seen many sad moments yet, actually. You normally get that with some openings, but obviously if you would like me to react to the endings, let me know in the comment section. Wow. God, the visual and the music went so hand in hand. So on opening 15 now. Oh, a bit dramatic. This is a bit dramatic. It's not dark, but it's dramatic. Oh, God. I'm a bit partial to the old kick drum and a bit of uh, orchestration. Oh, I love that logo. Logo looks sick. Yep, the hand clap on the downbeat, standard. Love it. So again, it's, it's almost like a, a trip through time with Fairy Tale. It's like some of the aesthetics look quite medieval in terms of like castles, and then we looked at like coliseums and stuff like that. But I suppose the main crux of the story is, is is a continuing theme, or is it not? I suppose I'll have to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, see what I mean? Yeah, like... It's very difficult to get a storyline when you're watching, like, 16 openings, but you kind of... Oh, there's a little bit of a sad moment. I talked that up. At the end of that opening, it was a little bit sad, actually. Quite sad. Okay, so, it, but Fairy Tale 2014, so it, there must have been a gap then. Oh, the music! Oh, I love the Tom build-up. But again, just appreciate, right, the visual aesthetic of this with the music. That beginning was so good in terms of, I use the word a lot, encapsulating it. Oh, the... Just take a moment to appreciate that half-time. Oh, the... Oh, God, so good. Why did I wait so long to react to these? But I'm glad I've done it on this channel. And I saved the moment. A few of my subscribers could be very happy, because my word, every comment that particular subscribers have made on all of my openings videos have been fairy tale openings with a sad face. They're here. Oh, oh! Was there a book that was a part of the story? Some of the buildings in these are ridiculous, by the way. I mean, I don't really get medieval vibes. I, I kind of do with the food. It's like, I don't know why. Why is it I'm getting medieval vibes? Oh, I love that hi hat work. Uh, 
This world looks mental, by the way. Hey, the old pussycat's back. It's been a couple of openings, actually, since we've uh, seen our little furry friend. Oh. Works as well. Look at that like stencil format as well. Do let me know how, how popular is, uh, of an anime series is was Fairy Tale. When I say is was, I mean obviously it's not sh if it's not showing anymore. How popular is it? I oh, just. Honestly, the music. <laughs> Again, it's just so good with the visuals. The music is just making me go all giddy. As well as the visuals. Oh, trendsetters now. It's on open 18 now. So, yeah, we're, we're getting closer to the end of it. It's a bit like One Piece. I don't want it to end. <laughs> See, again, I, I think the visual in this is totally different in terms of the pattern of visual. You're not seeing, like, castles and cities. You're seeing a different, like a darker world in a, in a weird way. I don't really know how to describe it. Seeing a lot of colours, seeing a lot of fighting, you're seeing a lot of this is my power up, this is my power up. My dick's bigger than your dick. My titties are bigger than your titties. Whatever, you know. Got a great way of describing it, and I Oh my god, what's that coming? <laughs> Talk about one piece and I see a load of fucking chips. Oh god, it, it is honestly. These these are, these are so good. Open nineteen. Wow. Oh, a bit cold with his uh, with his shirt off in the snow. Get a jumper on. Yeah. Same with you. I would say in these openings that the ladies are rather revealing, aren't they? They dress to impress. Oh! Random, random sniper rifle. It's just so busy, isn't it? Like, it's so much fighting. Ooh. Weird looking chap. Tree man. I just love how it splits from like the snow to like a bit of an open world. The music is fantastic, by the way. It's fantastic. Music seriously good again. How good this series must be, honestly, because again, some of the battling and some of the characters' images is so, so good. And again, the reason why I'm not stopping it between openings is because I just want to let this flow. Otherwise, you'll have me rabbiting on for about three hours of what I think it could be, not be, whatever, you know. Oh, fire hands. You can't beat a set of fucking fire hands. Oh. Is that a cat? I mean, I might be wrong. I feel a bit silly now. I've got to open in 20 and it, someone will say, no, it's a bloody, I don't know. It's a cat with wings. <laughs> Final boss vibes going on here.
It's certainly a series that I think could be a very fast one one sort of paced one pace series, you know. That's the book we saw dissolve. Pretty sure it is. Pretty sure it was. And also just to appreciate as well the, the music some of the music is different volumes. So if some do come in a little bit louder than others, you'll know why. Oh, it's... That little break in the music there just gave me Linkin Park vibes. Not so much here. Staccato rhythm. The walk and the music there was so cool. Again, use the term again, a cap encapsulates the visual. As with all my openings and endings, any that get put on copyright on YouTube, I will smash on Patreon so you can watch the full uncut openings it's so good isn't it I can hear the lovely bass runs going on but my word you can definitely tell we're getting to the last five openings or so because it's getting darker it's getting action packed That is so good. Hats off to that opening. Wow. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. Uh. <laughs> that break was amazing. <laughs> oh, in terms of introduction music of an opening, my favorite so far. Just that noise. It's that bass going. Vroom, vroom. Oh, that was the uh, the tree man that we saw earlier. If you're watching me for the first time, I have weird character names for people. Big head. Small dick. No, not really. I don't call anyone that. An exploding eye. What? Oh. oh, wow. It seems like it is. Like I said, in these last sort of two or three openings, it's got. Love those colours, by the way. Those colours. Oh, those colours at the end were so good. So we've got four openings to go. Wow. What gets me... I, I, I keep banging on about the music. Well, it, it sort of is with the visual as well. Whenever you sort of get this type of start, in terms of like maybe an EDM start, you get like a happy kind of... Like this, little happy. But when you get the 100 miles an hour punching you in the willy music, it's dark and it's intense, you know? So obviously it says in the corner, fairy tale final, which is actually quite handy for me actually to read that. I know it's not showing it all on the screen, but I appreciate that, you know, and hopefully you'll appreciate it as well, that at least I can watch all of these openings in a segment rather than having to search and then like I said then then it sort of has this pattern of battling and sort of like this epic nature and again just to reiterate the reason why I sometimes look <laughs> getting confused now that way is because I'm just checking if I'm recording still I've had horror moments on OBS but this looks happy Actually, the majority of this looked happy. Like it's a fairy tale. And there's the old pussycat again. Nice. Nice little jiggle going on.
So it'd be interesting. So if it was 2014 in one of the series, so final series, am I guessing it was a few years later? Are we, are we sort of quite recent or is it? Yeah, rather than finding out, I'll let you let me know in the comment section how late this finished and how early it started. Because again, 26 openings is massive. The funkiness in this. His old broccoli head. Tree head. So I'd like to know what the basis of calling it fairy tale is. Is it because it's a dream world? The theory will continue. I'm just really impressed with the music. So well thought out. And again, oh, that's so cool how this thing come together. The penultimate one. The dramatic stare into space. The music is just... Oh. I can't cope with how good this music is. <laughs> Still can't get his, uh, get his lady. Wow. Battle of the Dragons by the looks of it, or monsters. Oh, the half time is killing me, man. The sound effect going into that is just, oh, it was sexy. Wow. Visually, this is a masterpiece, i got to say. <laughs> you find it hard to sum up talking about 26 openings, but my word, you could talk about these all day. Ah. Oh. So are they brothers or... Are they brothers or close friends? The f so this is opening... Is this the last opening? Pretty sure it's the last opening. Oh, I love how, how, it, how the time splits in terms of, like, the music and stuff. is so good. <laughs> Half-time groove is just sumptuous. Yeah, because I, I, I'm, I'm, from my personal p opinion, seeing all of these characters probably from about opening 12 or 13 onwards hard to keep up because they're literally so fast paced in some sections it's almost like the final time you know oh it says opening 25 so unless it's a uh, pretty sure I watched opening 25 but I don't care it's what it is Unless they've got it wrong and this is open 26. We'll soon find out if the video ends or not and I'll be awkwardly looking at you going, oh yeah. But yeah, what a, what a masterpiece this has been. Honestly, to sum up what I've just seen, 26 openings, it was an absolute masterpiece and I'm not kidding. Literally so, so good. The music was so consistent throughout. In terms of the storyline, it was very, very difficult because there are a lot of things going on. Obviously, we saw the same sort of characters throughout the whole thing, but it looked like different worlds. And to me, when I sort of think of fairy tale, I think of happy. I don't think of like, yeah, people use the whole sort of uh, term of, oh, it's like a fairy tale. But I think this is probably the opposite because in some sections it was really dark. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope you enjoyed this particular opening reaction. And of course, get your comments in on what you'd like me to react to next. I'm at 1,000 subscribers. Again, a massive thank you to everybody. Let's get to 2,000 and let's have a bloody great time together reacting to anime. And I'll see you very, very soon.